Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video will be on how low can Joom stock go. Basically, Joom stocks has been on a decline uh, consistently for the past couple weeks, I guess. Ever since Aurora made an investment in Joom, Joom has been selling off like crazy. So let's begin. So uh, no, Aurora made an investment in Joom on November 5th, 2018. On November 5th, 2018, the stock opened up at $1.10 and then it went all the way to $1.15 and then now it's just been declining like crazy. It's like, I should, uh, I don't know. I bought in that, I bought in that day. I was an idiot. I shouldn't have bought in. I was like, oh, Roy made an investment. June's a safe stock. Why not invest in it? It could, you know, go to $2.50. So I went out like an idiot and I bought Joom. And now it's all the way down to $0.67. Cents. Uh, you know, every time, a ro like, this investment by Roya should have shot up the stock. But it did the opposite because... Investors are thinking that you know Aurora is gonna eventually take out Joom, and there's like the speculation and the fun of owning Joom is gone. So I think investors are just selling out because they don't care about Joom anymore because Aurora is uh, gonna basically you know take over Joom. So you know there's there was a huge sell off and there's there's been a sell off ever since. I on and we haven't seen. We literally have not seen green in a while. I mean, I guess if you go for the five day chart, we've seen a little bit of green. It's kind of hovering, but you look at the one month chart, it just looks like it's been selling off like crazy. So, you know, look at the market cap, it has a hundred and nineteen million dollar market cap. If you take in the delusion of Aurora, this could push the stock to. I say over 200, 250 million maybe. So once Aurora, you know, dilutes the stock, so 250 million dollars at 67 cents. If it goes that route, 250 times 0 0.6. Seven. Oops. 250 times 0 0.67. About 167.5 million. But the stock's not been has not been diluted yet. So we are taking the market cap of $119. Because once it's get once it gets diluted, the assets also go up dramatically because Aurora is paying $200. Two dollars and fifty cents for every single uh share they gonna they're gonna buy into June. Just to be clear, I don't know if I showed this already, but this is all my June stocks right now. I lost big. I lost big time on June. I've already lost ten thousand dollars, ten about almost eleven thousand dollars. I mean, I guess in in theory, it's not as bad as me losing. Almost a million dollars off Aurora, cause you know I had Aurora at fourteen dollars and or fifteen dollars. I could have sold out fourteen fifteen dollars, but I didn't, and now I'm at a loss of at least a million dollars. So I mean, this shouldn't hurt me that much because because it's ten thousand is not not too bad. I mean, I lost more money on 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 Canopy Rivers. I bought rivers at like nine dollars, and the stock is like under four dollars. I lost so much money on Canopy Rivers, cause I was an idiot on rivers. I don't get all my picks perfect. Uh, I was no, I was such a big fan of Canopy that when rivers came out, I was like, oh, I'll buy rivers, and that was my biggest mistake ever. You know, don't love a stock, I did, and it bit me in the ass with rivers. Uh, June. No, I was more careful about June. Like, 
Once I started averaging down and I kept seeing it drop, 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 I was like, okay, something is wrong here. Why is this stock dropping? I should have, I should have, you know, that's why I stopped myself from buying. And I'm really careful. If I do buy, it's going to be a quick swing trade stock. And that is it. Or I average down big time when I see like a 50 cents price tag because it could go down to 50 cents. I, I don't know that for sure because, you know, um, and if you look at the assets, right, it's a hundred, a hundred million dollars, but you have to also include a world's extra $20 million investment. So we're looking at 200, I mean, we're looking at 120, 120 million dollars. So the company's asset is, you know, a hundred the market cap is hundred and ninety million. But you know, most of this asset is intangible assets. And intangible assets uh intangible assets is, you know, basically like you know, the the facilities, uh like stuff that is not easily calculate it's like maybe all the uh all the um licenses all the um what is it like retail locations established um maybe the like intellectual property you know stuff that can't really be calculated and i guess in the financials they they estimate the intangible bad assets to be 89 million dollars so that's basically fluff money right there that would be considered fluff. I mean, maybe the value is a quarter of that. The real true value of the intangible assets is a quarter of that. But they fluffed it up to $89 million. I don't believe the intangible asset deserves to be $89 million. I could be wrong, but I don't believe that intangible assets is worth $89 million. Uh... So, I mean... I think that if this thing drops to a 50 million, 50, maybe a 60 million dollar market cap, maybe it's totally worth billion dollar market cap, it's totally worth a buy, but uh, for it to be a 60 billion dollar market cap, no, 178 times 0 0.3, that would be 30 cents. So maybe, maybe a little higher, like 35 cents. So at 35 cents, the stock is a screaming buy. At 67 cents, no, not really. So I would be really careful about buying this because it seems like shareholders want to get want to exit June for some damn reason. I I don't truly understand it. I don't want to know why. You know, when Aurora makes a purchase, it becomes a, a secure company. Uh, investors are just you no. Know, I'm not talking about like the normal retail investors. I'm talking about rich retail investors, like people that have lots of money are just exiting June's position, left, right, and center. So I don't know why it may, you know, it makes no sense to me. But I definitely be careful about buying June because June is definitely scary in my opinion. Uh, you know, June does have. Uh, a, a license from Health Canada. They finally got a single health license from Canada, and everyone like I was like wondering how many square feet it is. Uh, like what is it? I mean, they do have a license here. It says it's a cultivation license in BC, and you know I looked into it. I went to the this was a month five months ago. They had about ten thousand square feet ready. For cultivation license from Health Canada, and they expect it in May 2018. Expect to receive its cultivation in May of 2018, and they got it in October of 2018. So you know, big big delay from Health Canada. I don't know if they decided to you know expand. Uh, all the way to set, uh, expand 700,000 square feet in uh, the facility. Like they had five months to uh, to develop the the site. I don't know. Like May 
So at least a four or five months to develop the site since they got the cultivation license. I don't know if they actually continue to expand the sites, but right now, Health Canada has only approved one facility, and they, that's all they have. They have one facility. That's like they have no retail. They have one facility that's ten thousand square feet. They got some cash from Aurora. I mean, they do have. Uh, 10 sites that tomb stores that are under construction right now and they have 18 building permits so and then they have a lot of like retail sites under lease that's that could be good and bad you know it just depending on how long those retail sites stay under lease because every every day that these sites are under lease it's costing them like Every location is costing them like two, three thousand dollars, four thousand dollars. So they have like a total of forty-five leases, and they're paying like let's say an average of three thousand dollars. Forty-five times three. They're paying about one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars a month to keep up on all, all these leases, or more, possibly more, maybe for one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Maybe even more than that, but um, you you don't keep a retail under lease without paying some dough, you know. So it's good that they're, they're having at least ten sites that's under construction right now. So those I'm I'm really interested in seeing the gym stores. I'm definitely gonna drive to where I need to to check them out. I'm hoping they have one in Edmonton. I'm really hoping they have one in Edmonton. But right now it doesn't even matter if they have a site. It the there is no cannabis products on on store shelves, so you know they could take the time. In my opinion, they they should have this the the sites up by I say January, maybe the end of January two thousand eighteen, maybe I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure on this thing, <clears throat> and I'm not sure like. If they're planning to build out the, the rest of their 700,000 square feet facility. And then they also have 120 acres of land in Saskatchewan. That's pretty big land. I mean, they could build an Aurora Sky I mean, Aurora could build an Aurora Sky facility. Or they can use it as outdoor hemp cultivation. Or cannabis growing cultivation. Or something out of the 120 acres. Because... They have 120 acres of land, so, you know, that's part of the fluff, the uh, intangible assets, so, uh, and, oh, I guess, so right now, they are not making any money, and uh, they're spending about 4.2 million dollars on you know, lease fees, uh, administration and, hold on, administration and general, general and administration is basically, uh, like management sal like managerial salaries, like paying people, include rent, so that's the lease basis, utilities, insurance, you know, like everything, like all the expenses a corporation takes is, the general and administration expenses. So, the the general and administration expenses is pretty damn high. But this is for a full year, so it's not too bad. But it's still pretty high, like paying four million dollars to people for, you know, all the business stuff, cost them four million dollars a year. Is still a lot of money. Maybe it's also including construction in it because. You know they are constructing their sites and stuff, so maybe I don't know. Um, I mean they're capitalized now because they had nine million dollars of cash plus Aurora's twenty million dollar investment, so they have thirty million dollars to build out all the retail locations. So I guess with ten to ten real lo retail location, each re retail location is gonna be about a million dollars each. I don't know how much they've already spent on those retail locations, but you know, I, I have no idea, I guess. Uh, 
and part of their retail location that's under construction is also part of their intangible assets because in theory they don't actually have any value to them like all the retail locations the the construction because if they decide not to open them and decide to cancel the lease uh they don't get any money back they can't sell that property uh, they basically lose out on that property completely if they decided not to open up that location to, in, under construction. I mean, intangible assets have a lot of risk to them. So, I mean, right now, I think the company is very, very risky. I mean, they have very little liabilities, which is pretty good. But they, I don't like intangible assets. It's basically fluff, so... I like cash, I like, you know, property and equipment, which they don't have very much of. $225,000 of property and equipment doesn't look very appealing to me. Um, you, you know, like, Alcana is, Alcana is, like, doing the same thing, too. Like, Aurora made a huge investment into Alcana on, uh, let's see. On February 14, 2018 is when they closed it. February 14th. You know, it was 12 bucks and it just kept trading around 12 bucks. Then all of a sudden, on on March 14th to March 16th, the stock just tanked all the way down to $10. And now it's like all the way down to $8. I don't know what the hell happened between March 14th to March 22. Uh, I can look it up. Let's see news. Till March 14th. May. May March. <clears throat> well, I guess. I guess they put Terry Booth into the board of directors and the stock tanked. They paid dividend and then they announced an upcoming change of the CEO. Chief, oh wait, Chief Financial Officer. I guess that caused the stock to drop. I don't know. It just makes no sense in my mind. No sense in my mind why the stock dropped all the way down. Maybe investors are like, oh, this stock going nowhere, it's a safe investment, eventually all the shares will become a royal stock, so they just like abandon the stock and the stock drop like crazy. Just the same scenario as Joom, a Roy makes a big investment, Joom, and Joom's stock is selling off like crazy. That's why I tell you to be extremely careful about Joom because I think Joom could drop down to like 50 cents or even lower. So this like how low can Joom stock go basically? This is Joom stock analysis. How long? How low can a Joom stock go? Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something from this. Um, yeah, definitely be careful about buying Joom stock. Don't think Joom's gonna be like doubling your money anytime soon. Maybe maybe in the back half of two thousand nineteen, Joom could be could go back to a dollar. I'm not saying it will. I'm saying this stock's dropping to lower than 50 cents. That's what I think. I think in the next month to two months, this stock's probably going to be like below 50 cents. So just, just my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please give me a thumbs down. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day.